And welcome back. This is Kotal from the uh, midweek year War Rights event. It is the Smoke and Steel League. This is Map 1, Boulevard Heights Redoubt. Um, it is a. Um, so the two teams that are facing each other right now are 12th VA and the. Oh god. Had it written down. FSB. Okay. Alright, there we go. FSB versus the 12th VA. So, looking at the two teams on the Union team, we got FSB under Lieutenant Colonel Tanben. Looks like Colonel Red from the 59th New York is also there. Then we've got Captain Zoo leading the 5th Florida. Uh, looks like we got a number of other guys from SB in there as well. We've got 10th US led by Lieutenant Sid. Looks like Targray is in there as well with a number of SR. Ooh, five people. Nice. Good shit, Targray. Then we've got JD, led by Lieutenant Colonel Dees, and CQB, led by Lieutenant Colonel Grimm. And I believe that's it. And we also have SS FSB on a number of Artie slots here, because he called well and passed her from the FSB on all. Now on the CSA team, they are led by the 12th VA. Um, they have on their team... They starting firing? That was quick. They are alive, so... Get over here at least. Uh, Ninth Corps led by Colonel Tommy. Then we got MSG, looks like led by Captain Grimm. We've got two corps led by Captain Marcher. We got uh, CB led by President Memer. Let's see. What else we got? We got 12th VA by Fusewall Jackson. A lot of already already coming in. Looks like it's having some good shots too. Man, they're not even letting me get through the intro here. All right, real quick. All right, 12th VA, who else? Or 12th VA under Ghetto and MB's in there as well. God damn it. Anybody else? A uh, number of people on battery from a number of units, so I'll just say a mix on Artie. It is a full server at 296, 150 on the attacking CSA, 146 on the defending Union. The meatball. All right, I'm going to just kind of hang out here for a second then. Kind of watch the already come in. Looks like the CSA is still kind of staging right now, back behind the hill. Might be uh, waiting for the already to uh, soften them up a little bit. Oh, are you the photographer? Hi, photographer. Hi. Bro, I got the new Mario Bros. Ah. Why? Some long distance shooting right now by the CSA. I'm gonna swing over to them. Take a look. It looks like they have a very concentrated force here, kind of all getting online. We have one Union regiment that has rotated out into the open part of the field. That is Captain Zoo's Fifth Florida here, facing a open line from the CSA. Not losing too many men yet. Nice looking open over there from the CSA line. Check! 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 So far on the CSA, yeah, it goes four down. Not quite enough. You need to knock down at least uh, six in order to beat the timer. Loading place. Fill the gaps. Fill the gaps. Zoo is gonna pull his men back. Nice looking open order line here from multiple CSA units here. Excellent positioning by them. I do wonder though if they're going to eat up too much of this clock here, although that already has been doing a nice job of softening up this oh, Union oh, force here, so that might be sufficient. We will see. Very concentrated here by the CSA. They can really attack whenever they want. Be in an excellent position to do so. 
By the way, I hit the flags just so I can, especially on long distance volleys, to kind of count how many are going down. So that is why I do that. I know it isn't as cinematic, so I'll try not to do it too often. I know some people have said they prefer me taking a more cinematic view, so I'll try to do a mix as best as I can. Here's two core. Already coming in. Looks like it just impacted on the surface. Yeah, see right now this the formation is getting a little bit wide here by two core. Good job there by that private move forward. He might have just saved a number of tickets by doing that. And it looks like 12th VA is moving out to the left a little, well, to the right a little bit. Are they going in for the attack here? Oh, follow them in. This is 12th VA's uh, turn. They are the leader. I think they've done a good job of shaping the battlefield, trying to spread out the field. Let already soften them up. Now the key to this is concentration of mass and get that uh, bridgehead. We saw on TSA last week how deadly that uh, bridgehead can be if they can get it. Open order, open order. He is to get the flags in here and get those respawns going and just overwhelm them. Right now they've got two flags up. Oh, one flag in the dirt, one flag further back. He's picking it up. Oh, not picking up a flag. Not good. Maybe this guy will do it. Oh, look at that. Wonderful. Love to see it. To be honest with you, this is a great opportunity for the Union to counterattack in and defeat this force here in detail. I think if they just maintain this position here, unfortunately, they're going to lose a lot of tickets. Unnecessarily, although they're winning the shootout here because these guys, I think, are staying a little bit too far back, to be honest with you. I mean, I guess Tommy wants to keep a bit of a reserve, but they're just concentrating on these guys here, and they're going to have to fall back. Yeah, you didn't have enough flags up there. You can't maintain that breach. Oh, I killed that man. Yeah. They got all four flags out, which is good. I would absolutely counterattack as a union right now, I think. But you got a great chance to wipe out these elements in detail and force them to fight without their flags for a little bit. They've done a great job here as the union of staying concentrated, and they are keeping the tickets pretty even. So, so far, a great defense here by this union team, led by the FSB. God damn, get up, Butterlegs, you got it. And the VoIP, I still cannot explain why some people are very low and some people are very loud. So, yeah. What's the point of my fat ass running over here? That attack, I would say, a little bit, the hell a little bit too back. You're going to flood the point like that, you got to flood it, get that bridgehead, push him off. But they uh, kind of only went in half hard. You know, weren't, didn't do a great job on flag discipline once they down for quite a long time. So that two core guy got it back up. We'll see what the next plan of attack is. His 12th VA is in charge. Let's take a look at some of the arty guys. If I can catch a shot from one of these guys. Ooh, here's Womp Womp. And Willie Pete. Judge your shot, Womp Womp. Ah, maybe not. We'll see who goes first. Holy shit, I wasn't even paying attention. I almost fell. Looks like 10th US is pushing out a little bit here. Um, I don't oppose it. You know, if you can sneak a volley or two, I'm going to have good Check discipline. And I think they're, the other probably bigger reason is, you know, they're putting the, uh, getting something between themselves and the arty. I think that's the real reason they're doing this right now. So that is, I think, a good decision here by the 10th U.S. 
Good zoo again. Fire! Fall back, fall back, fall back. Fall back! Same position! Keep going, Stay. boys. Spread it out, boys. Spread it yeah, out. You need to kill at least six guys yeah, per volley. If you're gonna do two volleys per minute, like if you do peak shit like that, yeah, you know. You now if you got like if you can get three volleys off in a minute, you know, you can do a little bit less, but. Nice looking battle line here, though. Try to catch this all in frame here. Ooh, nice splash there, it looked like. Doing some work. It's pretty rare I can get the whole, I mean, I know I'm taking a little bit more of a, uh, Bird's eye view here, but it's pretty rare I can get almost the whole team in frame, so kind of want to just uh, enjoy this spectacle here for a minute or two while they're doing long distance firing. That already is doing work from what I can see with these splashes here. Let's check on the morale state. 33 minutes. Um, yeah, CSA has uh, got a little bit of a ticket lead right now. I think a lot of that is the already, to be honest with you. So when we left with the infantry, it was a little bit less. Let's see if we can get an idea of how much damage he's wrong. Left and right, boys. Touch tips with your bayonet. Here we got the JD getting hit by a little bit of already, not too bad. CQB in front of them. Yeah, they have a lot of RD. The, the, the problem may be that they don't have enough to push in, though. Which can be fine if the, if the battle plan is to, you know, put a lot on RD right now and kind of get their tickets down that way. Um, that could work well. Uh, we'll see. I, I, again, I do like the way that 10th US is positioning here. Let's see if I can get an idea for how many men they're losing. Nice flagger, Griffin. I'm stuck. Get the fuck out of my way, you fat piece of shit. Back down here, lads. Back down here. Stay down. Off the track. Stuck in. You're in cover. Loaded. I'm not seeing... Oh, there goes one. There goes two. There goes three. Never mind. Yeah, they're losing a few men. Nothing too... Nothing too, you know, cost prohibited, but... It's enough that he's gonna kind of scramble back over. Let's see if he loses more men to Artie than he does to that infantry fire. Get your loads, prepare for battle. Uh, looks like we have a CSA move. No, nope. they are being very patient, just kind of pressing forward here, bit by bit. It's very long battle lines here. So they're not working fairly well, you know. So. Problem with that, you can see the problem with that volley is that they just kicked off there from Zoo. You know, oh, they all shit. targeted all only three guys. They shot at the center of the field, and you see they didn't really lose too many men. So I think that was Zoo. I could be wrong. Um, I think that was Fifth Floor. I might have been 59th. Um, whoever I was, or I wasn't, I do apologize. Um, yeah, you got to make sure you guys are spreading out your fire, not all concentrated in one sector. You do want to kill that flag, but you want to kind of pick your targets as well. You kind of spread it out. Yo, engaged. I do like this forward movement by two core, trying to get a bit of a flank on. Being very disciplined, working together. There is steam chat. That already is just merciless. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, they shifted right. Yeah. <laughs> still going right. They are still going well. CSA left, I think. They kind of still bounding. I very much like these bounding movements. You see how you know two core has a screen line, and going around it is ninth core. 
kind of filling in. So good combination, good work between these two units. Actually really working really well together. Now there is an attack here by 12 VA. Again, my concern with this is does it have enough slits to it to actually punch through? Oh, they're on the fucking wall. Here comes 6XCB flooding in as well. We got a counterattack here by the 5th Florida. Alright, good job here by these units. I was worried they wouldn't be in the fight here. But they are putting in a lot of flank and fire. Now here, they have drawn off the SB to kind of deal with them. Oh, good. Well, SB is getting in some shots close in. Trying to draw the charge here from 9th Corps. It, it kind of went in, it kind of didn't. Let's see, both teams now engage. Again, this, this element here doesn't have... They're not really holding the breach here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see if the Union can push them off here. It's a little bit better here because you still have this threat over here. So you can't really do a full send against this, but I, I would still send it. You might be able to catch them in detail, take this out, and then funnel, you know, the CSA into right here and kind of kill, you know, get them in a nice little kill box from multiple angles, but we'll see. You have a crush on me or something? CSA just feeding in like this. I, I, we'll see. I mean, they're catching up on tickets, but again, I wonder how much of that is already and how much is them. They got some off of this, but I, I think this is going to be a ticket sink for the CSA. We'll see. Henry Kissinger, I thought you were dead. Let's see, you're still wrong. He, uh, I did love your unchina work. You're the man. Whoever ghost wrote this first four chapters by you. Oh, that's cheap. Now it's just get up here. Hey, Revs, can you, like, politely back the fuck up? Please. I'm gonna fucking shoot you. Rebels, what happened? What happened? Rebels. Listen, if you're like at Gallipoli or something, what is this? Shut up. I mean, the one thing that this is doing is it's keeping the Union pinned into very good locations for the Argy to shoot. So, you, know, you guys did Lesson 2 for my uh, Officer Basic course. This is infantry support to Artie is how I classify this kind of maneuver, where you bring the infantry in a position where the Artie can engage them. No, no, you fall back first. How about that? The Artie is the main casualty-producing weapon, and the infantry really is just there to fix the... You know, the friendly infantry is there to fix the enemy to a position where they can be killed. I mean, it's ticket-wise, it's working here, so if that's the strategy, I think it's it, it might actually be working by just sending a few in here. So if that's the case here, at some point i got to make the calculus, do you charge out as the Union? But the CSA is, now has a much better, stronger position out here, kind of keeping them in check. 26 minutes is not bad for where they're at. Hold the birds, boys. Hold the birds. I turned Hold that the birds, to boys. a canoe. Fight, boys. Fight. Fight, boys. Fight. <laughs> Let them take this ground. Put that cannonball down. We're doing great, gentlemen. Do not hold your fire. Independent fire. You just got to figure out something here. They are losing this attrition fight. And in fact, you can see that uh, now the JD's pulled off, this center is really starting to collapse here. This sector over here, if the CSA wants to, and they may just be happy to maintain this attrition fight. Um, might be able to overwhelm this and take this side of the field here and just end the game. But again, the CSA may, uh, that sort of 12th VA may be like, nope, plan is working, but already do already sting, and we will be told what you got. No. ELF, hold what you got. Don't point your ankles at the ground. I fucked that up too. I need people on my left side. Back over, back over, back over. 
fucking last jump fucking get through airborne school somehow. Fucking broke my goddamn ankle. Fucking lied about it so I could go home on leave too. Like I fucking drove all the way from Georgia to New York too. <laughs> a fucking dumbass. Oh, I was a fucking idiot. No, we're not to general it's like you. On the lines, JD, on the lines! I'm with you, Yanzi. Yeah, it looks like the CSA is happy to hold. Let's see here. Get ready. No, they're still holding what they got here. And just feeding in maybe like a company's worth at a time. And it is holding here. Yeah, and I think the Union may need to look at a different strategy. They are losing this attrition fight. And I, it, I don't see them turning it around here, so it's time for them to think of a new idea. Look at that, 23-45, and they are taking losses. This is a problem here. FSB is going to have to think of something soon. I, I, I say attack. Where's Prattley at? Prattley, you should be telling him to attack. Light him up. Light him up. I don't think Prattley's here tonight. I'm moving the camera too damn much. Let me focus here a little bit. Get in here, boys, and If only I could pass my rifle forward. Fuck you, Yankees. All right, A colors, you you guys are in formation. Don't charge. So it, it these guys that are charging in half-assed, this is really bad. You are using up a lot of tickets right now that you cannot afford to lose. If you're gonna charge, it has to be as a mass force. It can't be as you know little in-betweeny things. That is just feeding tickets and often skirmishing and possibly even out of lines. That will really cost you as a defender. seen too many impacts from the Union Army, and they really don't have too many men left on it. They just got a couple guys, so. And it is a bit of an imbalance, a nine-man imbalance for the, uh, for the CSA team, but on a 300-man server full, that's not bad. Just something to be acknowledged. I think that it's, I don't think, decisive on its own. Fact, contributing factor. Absolutely. Yeah, again, I think the CSA just holds what they got. Union, you got to figure out something. You now, the problem is the way the CSA has set it up here, you know, this unit here is kind of a bait. So if the Union charges out this unit, they're going to take fire from here, take fire from here. Um, this unit's a little bit actually out of position here, I would say. Two cars are a little bit too far away to support. And you can see the CSA is not breaking down into like super small units. They're maintaining pretty much that company integrity. I think it's working very well for them. Kind of this reserve element out here with these two flags beating troops up, and then you got these two covering elements here. Putting in uh, supporting fire. Really, the Union has not figured out an answer to this. I would attack this. And in fact, that might be what they're thinking right now here. Here comes FSB. See, this, I, I would say, is a trap. Don't attack this. Like this, if you can knock down these two flags. Like, okay, here we go. Who is this? All right, this is Zoo's guys. This is really good. If you can knock back these two flags, you know, don't get overextended now. But as these guys come up down, you kind of make it a gunfight. And if you knock out two of their flags, you're going to win that gunfight. So I think the uh, this Union attack is fairly decent. But um, it might not have enough to it. Yeah, you got whole elements out here that are not that are still tied down by uh, two core. And then you still got a lot of units back here that didn't go in or respawning in. So without knocking down these flags, the attack really failed. And that, 
I still don't think it was a bad idea, they just needed more to it. Right, look how far back, far back they are. You didn't need all those Good troops job, there. You need, you need to knock this job. out. Even though you won this fight over here and two core had to fall back, it wasn't worth it. They're about to go on breaking here. They're at 19 minutes. This is basically over for the Union. I don't see too much out, too much other way out. That attack is really their last option. They could have knocked down their flags and, and evened up on the tickets and, and forced them into a more extended gut fight without flags. They could have made something. Stay back. On the line, JD, on the line. Oh, yeah. Line, line. Let's push it up. And it's breaking. You know, hard CSAR is doing a wonderful job this whole time. It's multiple units on it too, so. Looks like the CSA is starting to move up again. Open orders, this formation's been working pretty well for the CSA. Sorry how it kind of threw off some of the volleys earlier. Good discipline by the CSA, kind of just drawing the Union out here. Just kind of making sure they got the... I mean, they already have the victory, but really just drawing it out here. So the key right now for the Union is, well, it doesn't even matter, really. They're not going to be able to do it, but you see the CSA still has their flags. They've been maintaining their color guards and keeping those flags up. Even though the Union's been able to win some tactical victories, it has not managed to really push off the CSA and prevent them from getting their position back, even when they've fallen back. By keeping those flags, they're able to reconstitute very quickly and sustain their elements forward. And four flags. What does that equal? 48 men per minute. Three minutes. Your whole team. Essentially. Minus already, guys. Three minutes. You got your flags up. You got your whole team spawned back in.
Yep, they're gonna shoot him down to the last stand. They got plenty of time for it. See what this already is looking like. Some last stand. Honestly, the union, um, not a very inventive, you know, they didn't really react to the CSA. They kind of just let the CSA do what they wanted. Uh, very good use of getting this very good discipline lines, good open order, neutral supporting, kind of moving up, pulling back when they needed to. Union just kind of sat there and took it, to be honest with you. They didn't really react in any kind of, you know, meaningful way. There was a couple counterattacks. But never with enough force to really do anything with them. Um, great shots by the CSA Arty. Um, great job by the infantry putting the Arty into a great spot um, to be able to hit them. CSA on breaking. Yeah, uh, good play by the CSA. Um, a, lot of, a lot to compliment them on it. On a good play here, so this will be a victory for the 12th VA. Oh, but the map's still going. It's over, guys. Glad they're having fun with the final charge. Pick up the flag. We gotta pick up the flag. Gotta pick up the flag. Kill him. No, stop it. America. America. My dick out there. Wow, the CSA is going to pull back, all right. And then just finish it off, all right. So we can extend the map by uh, three minutes. Why not? Egypt has been defeated. We defeated Syria. We defeated Lebanon. We defeated Georgia. We, we defeated... We defeated the Fire Nation. Yeah, whatever you just said. We defeated Morocco. Fuck, who was in that? Yemen? Who else was there in the 1967 war? Uh, I think we covered the bases. Iraq? I picked up the flag. And Major combatants. Iran. Iran. No, Iran was not in there. Rally it up. Rally it up. Rally it up. Correct. Everyone get together. We're talking about the fucking Middle Eastern conflict. Keep in mind, since now we're the game's over here, keep in mind in 76, well, I'm sorry, 67 war. Shit. Um, the Six Day War, which is what he was talking about. Iran at that point was still ruled by the the Shah, who was a client state of the United States. That might be overselling it, but they were on good relations with the United States. Um, so they were not involved at that point. And with the main combatants were Jordan, Syria, Egypt were the main combatants. And Jordan really didn't want to get involved. Really, really didn't want to be involved. Kind of got dragged into it. Uh, this Egypt and Syria were the two main, uh, main opponents in that war, 67 war. Yemen at that point. I'm all right. Oh, they were still two countries, I believe, at that point. I believe it was north and south Yemen at that point. I have to fucking look up, though. I do not recall. Uh, Lebanon. Tasty, bring it forward. Lebanon was a mess. Over to the barn. Everyone, get on the barn. Get on the barn. They're rallying for one big charge, so we're going to fucking give them what we got. Yeah, this is like a guy alone the cannon, like to our southeast. We're just going to lose. Yes, we got to be honest. Let him be. You should be accepting individuals. 
He's about to blast us out. I don't out. know where the fuck he is. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just gonna extend the map by a few minutes, guys. Alright. You want to, I guess, you know, just getting insult to injury here. Just just end the map and get on to the next one, guys. What are you I guess we'll have a cinematic thing. Can't be far Cannon Street. Fuck you looking at Jaka. I'm sorry. Right, that, that was moving me, buddy. Fuckwash. It's most too late to save it. I always left you, Fuckwash. I dream about you. That's the end. It's been a while since I've done Mid East history. <laughs> Nasser in Egypt. Forget who was leading Syria at that point. It was Abdul Nasser leading. Is it Abdul? I'm questioning even that. Nasser was the last hand, but I don't mind. Anyway, yeah, they dragged it out, so I'm dragging it out. So we got one more. That is victory for 12 VA against the FSB. We'll see how the next one goes.